So we have a uh, 2018 Golf R. Thought I'd do a quick walk around because I have a 2016 and uh, go over some of the highlights that I see as, you know, positive, negatives, etc. So for starters, we've got these new headlights here. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, no more horn honk. That's interesting. I mean, I disabled my horn honk, but I'll have you leave it on. You've got the new um, trim here. Looks nice. Looks like they didn't change anything about the, the actual engine itself, radiator and stuff. Although they moved the DAP into the VW logo. This is all, the camera and everything's all in here now. Well, they have some of the radar sensors on the side there, but lip looks the same. The front lip looks about the same. They moved the honey, they, put, they added honeycomb to uh, where the turn signal used to be. It's kind of a lazy fix, to be honest. But the turn signal, or the, uh, the reflector, doesn't look afterthought anymore. Actually looks nice, the integration there in the side. New wheels I could do without. Side skirts are now black, so they're not, they don't match the paint at all anymore. They used to be blue, but these blue, now they are black. Brakes look unchanged, still same size. Change there. Truck fan looks the same. The exhaust tips are identical, and the uh, the rear diffuser is the same. Although the rear has a new honeycomb right above the diffuser, below the fender there. See how these look? Uh, okay. Wait, oh, yeah, the turn signal still? Are they still red? Shouldn't this be yellow here? My, well, mine are yellow. I'm curious, actually. Did they get rid of the button? No, it's still there. The little indent there is still there for the keyless. I wonder if they had upgraded that. It's like Spencer threw in some R knots. <laughs> oh, it's just red. Oh, that sucks. So what you do is you get your turn signal now is this white area, but it still blinks red. And then you get rid of there. Wow, oh, that sucks, dude. Because I would still, if I were getting a new 2018 Golf R, I would still swap those out for regular. Uh, so inside, we've got an alley. We have a, uh, a perforated leather seat. The R looks a little bit more hand stitched than mine. Mine is flat, looks more embossed. You've got a little um, gray welt around the back here. Um, still manual back and forward on the driver's seat. Uh, pretty much the same situation in here, I would say. Still no sunroof, because I guess VW just hates us. Um, the steering wheel doesn't look any thicker either. This is where I bought my 2016, by the way. So, same stuff comes with it, road tire systems. Well, this is like Spencer added. Floor mats, car jack, I don't think there's a spare tire in here. Is VW adding spare tires now? Nope, still just the fender sub down there. Yeah, it actually makes me not really care to upgrade at all. Because the, the biggest thing for me would be the new headlight design, the front fascia, and uh, and they didn't even. I thought they were at least going to match the um, the covers with the colors of the car. Mine were also black and just a blue car, or at least I would have a carbon fiber option. They didn't do that either. Did they upgrade the turn signals in here to be LED, or they still bulb? I gotta do the emergency flashers again. No, it doesn't look. Uh, actually, you know what? It looks slightly different, but actually it looks um, less intense than the ones I have on my 2016, believe it or not. I do like this, though. That looks great. Get full coverage all the way around. All right, so inside, I, oh, I won't sit in it because I'm in my motorcycle suit today. 
Um, no change in the pedals, no change in the bodywork inside here, no change to the seat except for the top end of it. Up top, they've got, they added a little bit of a uh, print stripe there to the, uh, oh, and they also added the home link mirror, which is one I want to get, actually has that silver around. I want to actually get that, it's about 225 to get it added to my car. Still has the fender system, no reverse fog lamps for the European model. Steering wheel is not any thicker, it's still very, very thin. A little bit of a pattern here. Uh, looks like they actually made the icons here larger on the panels, but the start stop is the same. If I turn this on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely, in my opinion, the biggest feature. Can we, oh, I turn this off. Can we turn down the brightness of this? Nope, that brightness doesn't change. Same engine, it looks really nice actually. It really does. So you can choose your driver modes, which is interesting. Four wheel drive one. Views, oh nice. Economy range, just economy. I would keep on the range, that's pretty cool. Nav, which is off. You do have your heading though, which is cool over here, and your elevation. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, now playing, telephone, vehicle status, lap timer, driving data. So from here, you can then go through those. So distance to wherever you're gonna be. That's pretty nice. I like to add a little R logo down here too. As far as pixels, that's pretty clear. That's really, really crisp. Huh. Yeah, it looks really good. And then in here, we've got uh, just it looks like the same as what I have. Just the larger screen. Yeah, same exact system, just larger screen. But uh, wow, it's good. I like this a lot. I think if I were shopping for a used 2016 or 2017 Golf Water Day versus a 2018, this is enough to make me want to go 2018. But if you're watching this and you're thinking about it, wait for a 2020. Because uh, this whole thing's going to change in 2020. You're going to get more power. So, all right, guys. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Nice little mini review. Um, Oh, it's because Sorry, guys. What's Spencer doing on the uh, markup? Any markup? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like he's doing a, um, a local adjustment. But he did add the monster mats and the rotation skit. Good. It looks like, does it still require premium gasoline? So 91 or B9? Uh, 92, so premium super. I did not choose the octane rating for this. The GT is down to 87, but this is now 92 or above. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, this was a lot of fun to record. Nice looking vehicle. They've got a white one over here, too, I'll show you before I go. Same wheels, but uh, white. I think white is the best golf art color. White and limestone gray. When I first ordered my golf bar, I asked them for blue or red, whichever they can get in first. And the blue came in first, but you know, red with black wheels and very dark tint would look great. Um, but I think the white on black just looks fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Okay, I'm in the video here. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your car purchase. And if you have, well, if you want to modify your golf bar. Um, Look for my playlist of golf R modifications. I've got about 60 different videos on maintaining your golf R, modifying it, and uh, good stuff. So it'll help you out. I mostly do motorcycle videos now, but there's a lot of golf R content on my channel, and you guys would definitely, um, definitely love it. So good luck with you guys.